Welcome back to the Schooner and Hop beer review. Uh, here we are sitting with the Furphy. Mm -hmm. It's uh, made its way up to Queensland in the last kind of couple of weeks. So we thought, hey, let's give it a go. Give it a go. I mean, it's not technically being marketed as a craft beer. But it is still made by the Little Creatures Brewery, which, uh, it's, uh, it's, yeah, they are all about very uh, full flavoured craft beers. It's just a refreshing ale. So it's, I think it's just practically a straight ale. I looked into it a little bit. And I'm sure that's what they said. It's, but anyway, let's give it a taste. Yeah, definitely much more of a standard ale, ale flavour. I was going to say lager, but no. So it, it is made with, um, they say, I want to hear. It's got that... Aussie lager, or kind of a a dry lager mm. taste, as opposed to say a crisp, clear lager. I think it definitely is not as fancy as anything else we've tried. It's pretty smooth initially. Mm. I wouldn't go as far as saying it tastes like water to start off with. No, no, because you're definitely hit with this kind of uh, definitely flavour there. I don't, I don't know what you're, hit with what this you're flavour it. initially. I guess it's more just. A straight bitter flavor as opposed to being either hoppy. It definitely ends bitter. It ends it, on a bitter yeah. malty finish. Yeah. I wish it was a bit hoppier. For what it is, I'm okay with what it is. Like for what it tastes like. God damn vocabulary, <laughs> top notch. No, because it's just a uh, just because it's only an ale. Yeah, they've they've pitched it as a refreshing ale, and a, and that's actually what it is. I'm finding that a lot with these beers. Exactly what they say it is, is what it is. There doesn't hmm. seem to be a lot of lies. Maybe. It's almost like they've thought about it. Yeah, they've gone through before. a process. They've workshopped ideas. Have you thought about the ranking of it on your... See, that's the Trump... That's I, I got an issue with ranking it in that everything else falls into the same craft beer kind of category. I'd feel bad rating this down because it's not as flavoursome, but it's not meant to be. So That's just where you've ranked it. As far as your tastes are concerned, not necessarily mm. specifically against it being a craft beer or not. No, but what I'm saying is like you get the flavor in those are like woo straight away, except for bees knees. Like yeah, everything else was very much there's your flavor straight at you. Mm -hmm. Whereas this, because it's an ale and it's just got a that like you said a bit of multi finish, it's. No, it's not like uh, at least from a, like from a tasting standpoint. There's probably a crazy lot mm. going on in there from a brewing point. It's not like the uh, the Goose Island we had last week that just yeah, but that just blew us took us around a flavor sensation. Yeah. I feel a little um, bad since it's a uh, originally an American brewery, while well, still is an American brewery, just brewed over here now as well. Um, feel bad that that's on top. I don't like the. Uh, aftertaste it leaves like it doesn't really make me feel like drinking it again it's a real um it doesn't have a sessionable quality to it w when i drinking it makes me think of farmers which is a bit stereotypical but i feel like this is what you uh, this is your typical or like i think this is an aussie an aussie beer is what this it just makes me think of australia like like your golds and your forex bitters, not so much in northerns. So that doesn't really fall into the no, same category. It's not, yeah, because it's not a more... crisp lager. It's more that Australian. It's like an old school it's a Aussie beer. Bitter. Yeah, it's yeah, it's it's just like your older beers that your dad drank and his draft. dad drank. Yeah, it's your draft. It's yeah. a draft beer. Yeah. That's the word. Mm -hmm. I got a taster of this when we got some in at work. Mm. I enjoyed the taster that I had. Mm. I was like, oh, this has some like complex flavors and then. I guess now that I get to like sit here and really focus on what I'm drinking, it yeah. isn't doing even remotely the same thing that I thought it was. Anyway, yeah, let's rank it and then let's chat about why we put it where we did. Uh, look, I put it there solely because like the atomic... I didn't expect you to put it above, above the bee's knees. Yes, yeah, neither did I. No, the, the atomic parallel did nothing for me. Really, like I'd, I'd still, I'm not gonna say I didn't enjoy it. And mm. if you've seen the review, you, you you already you know you know how I feel about it. The bee's knees, just because there's nothing to start with. That's that's why I put this above it because you get a flavour the whole way through. Whereas the bee's knees is just nothing. There's a nice finish. It's nice while it's in your mouth, 
It has a good math feel, if you will. <laughs> it's um, the only blog that writes math feel. <laughs> <laughs> tastes nice while you're physically drinking it, but for me, the aftertaste... It does sit the, in there. Like it just sits in there, yeah. and it's not like a fruity, hoppy beer when it sits in my mouth. I kind of like, oh, that's awesome. Mm. And then it makes me want to drink exactly the same thing again. Mm -hmm. This is like, oh, kind of like I don't enjoy what it's leaving in my mouth. Yeah, And, and that's why I've... Uh, even done it below the bee's knees because yeah. well you, even though you the, bee's the, knees, the bee's knees yeah, yeah. even though the bee's yeah. knees wasn't my type of beer yeah i still really enjoyed how it finished that was our review of the furphy um i reckon what are we five weeks in yeah yep so the the blog will be up by now uh i can't be. currently haven't done it yet but uh there'll be a link down below so go check out the blog it's just a little bit more about uh the beers we've tried and eventually some other stuff, but for now it's just some it's just background us. stuff that we're uh, not smart enough to say on camera. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> uh, see you next week with another beer review and catch you online in the Sea of Thieves. Oh yeah. All right. Uh, cheers, guys. Then. Cheers.